Well, it's going to be a long road back for the owners of the Bevan Bell factory. As we've been telling you, that big fire destroyed the East Hampton landmark on Saturday. Tonight, the owners are vowing that that company will rise from the ashes. News 8's Keith Koontz is here now. More on what it'll take to rebuild that company. All right, Darren and Sonny, it will be a huge undertaking to be sure here. Earlier today, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal toured what's left of the Bevan Bell factory. And like most people around East Hampton, he is hoping the company can return to prominence. Just a moment. After walking around what's left of the Bevan Bell factory, Senator Blumenthal and owner Matt Bevan were confident better times are on the horizon. To mitigate what we see here, to make this safe and usable again. Well, there's no question in your mind that we're going to rebuild. There's no question. And and it's not in mine. Good. So Outstanding. We're going to shake on that. We're going to do it. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> but getting there won't be easy. Last Saturday, a fast-moving fire fueled by exploding canisters of propane gas destroyed the 34,000-square-foot facility. The American way is that you get back up again. And Bevins have been making bells on the, on the land we're standing on for 180 years. And I'm a Bevin. I'm standing here, and I'm going to make bells here. Blumenthal promises to put together what he calls Team Belltown to help rebuild the Bevan factory by bringing together federal, state, and local resources. EPA grants that may be available for cleanup, small business administration loans that should be available for low interest kinds of resources that need to be made available. And the return of Bevan Bells can't come soon enough for locals like Lionel Robinson. This was one of the places that was well known around the world, not just the United States. And adding insult to tragedy, police also say hundreds of pounds of brass bells were stolen from the smoldering factory in the hours after the fire. It is a tragedy that people use this opportunity to take advantage of someone else's loss, someone else's pain, someone else's suffering to try to make a quick and expedient buck. All right, so nobody was talking about a time frame today in terms of getting to work on rebuilding the Bevan Bell factory, but Senator Blumenthal said today that he expects to see a tremendous volunteer effort mounted in addition to the government resources needed in that rebuilding effort. So really only time will tell when we see a return of Belltown, what they call it, in East Hampton. Mm. I would see that history stay right here in our state. That'd yeah. be great.